What's going on in Edmonton's real estate market for 2021? Well, stay tuned. We're going to talk about what happened in the month of January in this video. Hi, this is Melody Wilson with the Real Life team at Remax Elite. I'm talking to you today about what's been happening in Edmonton's real estate market so far for this year in 2021. As you know, 2020 was completely unexpected and not only did we get busier, we just didn't even know how to predict the market anymore. Now it's been unpredictable for the last few years because of the decline in the market, but last year it became unpredictable because of how busy it was. Now obviously the interest rates at an all time low under 2% in Canada is obviously helping the market. People staying at home and having the word home being redefined altogether is also changing people's expectation and what they want out of their house. So today we're going to talk about what happened for sales in January in 2021 in Edmonton for the single family home market. So if you take a look at the listing absorption rate, it's showing you that you have a 22.93% chance of selling if you are a seller, and that's a lot higher than it has been in the past. Last year, it was under 15, under 12, sometimes under 10%, and we're upwards of 22%. Now, if you look at certain areas and we've been helping clients find homes, sometimes we're actually seeing more of a seller's market. Now, what is a seller's market? That is when your chance as a seller is extremely high to sell. If you are your standard minimum three bedrooms, two and a half bath, minimum a thousand square feet with move in ready and it doesn't need a ton of work, your house, if priced correctly, is gonna just fly off the market. And we've seen that in the last year. In January, it's typically quieter and slower because we have colder weather, but also people just aren't as motivated to go look for homes. What we saw this last January was a very busy January. Now, obviously our weather was unseasonally warm, so it wasn't a subarctic temperature like we are right now. As the time of filming, we're in the deep freeze in February. But in January, we actually didn't have any of those deep freezes. We also saw a lot of busyness just because of the interest rates being under 2%. So if all things are aligned properly as a seller, it's actually a very good time for you to sell if you own a single family home in Edmonton. Now, if you take a look at the number of active listings, we're still quite low. We're lower than we were at this time last year. And listings tend to start to grow from this point. February, March, April, May, that's when people start to put more listings up for sale. However, that's also when more buyers come out as well. So we have very high demand of buyers. If you take a look at the number of sold in January compared to the number of sold the year before, you can see that we've had an increase. So if you take a look at the average price for Edmonton single family homes, they have increased month over month and year over year at roughly $436,000. So that has risen quite a bit in the last year. Um, we've been seeing declines and even though we didn't see it overall, we have been seeing declines and now we're starting to see people actually get their market value or higher. So if you take a look at the average price trend in 2012, we are sitting at 389,976. So you can see the contrast between 2012 average price and today's $436,000 price. If you take a look over the last nine years, you'll see the increase that we had, a slow gradual increase from 2012 until 2016, 17, and then in 2017 is when the market started to slowly drop gradually, 2018, 2019. And then you did see 2020 and 2021 try to make an increase in the average sale price. So if you take a look at the number of active listings in January of 2021, we were less than we were the month prior in December and also less than we were the year prior. If you take a look at the average sales in terms of how many sales we have in January 2021, we actually were in, we had more sales from December and we had a little less sales than in January of 2020. When I say little, it's very minimal, under 0.2% change from year over year. So last January, we were actually quite busy because we looked like we were wrapping up for recovery before the unexpected happened in March. But also for this year, we have started off with a very, very busy start, probably busier than it has been in the last five to eight years. So if you look at the average days on market in January of 2021, it wasn't anything too crazy and not much of a change from the month prior. 
sitting at 58 days for January, but if you look at January 2020, you'll notice it was at 74 average days on market. This was quite typical for all the years prior from 2019 and earlier for the pre previous years. The average days on market was quite high, and what we saw happen in 2020 was the average days on market went down quite substantially. So if you take a look at the 12 month trend of average days on market, one can assume that in the coming months, the average days on market is probably going to decline even more, maybe even to 40 days on market, which is gonna be really competitive as a buyer and really good for you as a seller. If you're looking to buy and move up and need to sell your current home, that's something we need to talk about in terms of strategy. We wanna talk specifically about your product your property and your area because that's going to make a big difference if we put your house on the market first and then look or if we should start looking before and see if we can find something for you to actually move into. So it's very important to have the right strategy in this real estate market as it's changing constantly. So if you take a look at the market distribution, no big surprise, 300 to 400,000 is the most sought after price point. And so if you own a home that falls into that category, we're probably gonna be able to get top dollar for your home and sell it quite quickly. So if you're looking to sell your home in that price range and move upwards, you can take a look at the price point of 400, even 500 and above. The average, the market distribution is a lot lower, which means you have less competition, which means you should still be able to get something that you're looking for and not have to compete as much. But that's a disclaimer because it depends again on the area that you're in. Some of these areas that are sought after in the River Valley areas, they're gonna be in that 500,000 price point and they're still quite competitive for the house that you're buying. So, so far in Edmonton, single family homes, we have sold 955 homes already this year and we suspect it's going to be even busier. I don't have a crystal ball, but all the leading indicators are setting us for that trend. If you have any questions about it, you know, even if you're thinking about moving in summer, now is still a good time to call and contact me to be put a strategy together for you and chat about how, what the real estate market means for you. Even if you're thinking about building and moving in next year, now is the time to chat. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next month.